Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. For this video I'm reviewing another new dart from SHOT and this is the Warrior 3. I have already did a review of the first Warriors and a very nice dart it was indeed. And once again it's got the tattoo on the barrel which has been designed by the New Zealand tattoo artist Rua Toto Henry. I think that's what it was. Sometimes I forget the names, but it's another very nice looking design. And this particular dart is a, a kind of a straight profile, a little bit sleeker. And these are 24 gram and they're 90% tungsten. And you can also get them in 22 gram and 26 grams. And they retail for £64.95. So let's check them out. So as with the other darts in the shot range, they come in this neat packaging which is a kind of a cardboard outer sleeve and then inside you've got a cardboard tray and inside that there's a plastic tray holding the contents and underneath there is a sticker with the weight guarantee and the darts are supplied with some eagle claw stems in, in between size and these 100 micron custom designed flights so that's what you get in the box so as you can see it's got the uh, kind of tribal tattoo pattern on the point like it did with the other warriors uh, looks quite a long point as well and it's a straight barrel dart with a tapered front nose and very uh, nice feeling grip on the front uh, not overly aggressive I'd say probably high medium there but then just as you get past that there's a smooth section but the uh, tattoo part there there's a kind of a like I said before like a kind of a powdery feel from that grip um, that actually feels very comfortable there so if your finger placement naturally falls around about there you might find that very comfortable and also because it's got that ring there you've got somebody to push against and then as you get a little bit further up the barrel just past the centre it's got this um, very nice kind of a shark style ring grip uh, again I wouldn't say it's overly aggressive but it's got two sections of that grip there and then a smooth section but as you can see the kind of tribal pat tattoo design continues along apart from them two sections uh, very nice looking diet again and I would say overall it's probably a high medium level grip and then you've got your eagle claw stems and these custom designed flights The darts are fit with a 30mm point, it's got a tapered nose to the barrel with a smooth section at the th front of 3.7mm then you've got this kind of a, a ring and groove grip with a sort of a shark style grip underneath the rings that's 12.3mm and then you've got a smooth section of 10mm and then a section of the ring and uh, shark style grip with lateral cuts in that's six millimeters then you've got a small section of micro grip of 3.7 millimeters then more of the shark and ring grip with the lateral cuts of 6.5 millimeters and then a smooth section at the end of 5.8 millimeters the length is 48 millimeters and the width is 7.15 millimeters twenty four point zero five grams twenty four point zero five again and twenty four point zero five so perfectly matched and the full setup is twenty five point five five 
with nothing attached the balance is a little towards the front and with the supply itself it's exactly in the center and this is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights Sometimes one eye switches focus and it goes to the other, but it uh, puts me off sometimes. Um, just like the feel of the grip there on the nose, I think the other Warrior Darts that I had uh, reviewed, I don't think they had the grip on the nose, they were just smooth from what I remember. And I quite like the fact these have got that bit of grip on there. It's not an aggressive grip, it just gives you just a little bit of something to, to push against. Give you a little bit of control on the dart as well. Uh, get a little bit of spin, but um, generally quite a nice balance from there. I think it may be a little bit more comfortable on that part there, but my grip was naturally falling uh, on the taper a little bit. But um, slightly chunkier feel there. So I'll try the middle section now. So I'm kind of mostly on that first section of uh, kind of like razor style grip and on the smooth part so barrel feels just a little bit thinner here getting a little bit of fish tailing but I think it's just trying to get used to the feel of the grip there but balance again is probably better there but it does slightly feel as if it's a little bit frontward biased, even though I think it's a centre weight at that. But it's got quite a nice feel of that grip. I think the cross cuts on it are just adding a little bit more um, grippiness. I think if you're a middle gripper, you'll probably like the feel of that. Can't believe we've got two trebles in the end. <laughs> so I'll try that rear section now. So I'm not going right to the end of the barrel, but I'm going to grip on the two sections of grip. Um, I have a feeling this might spin quite a lot, but we'll see. Yeah, it did spin a lot. <laughs> Probably just the way I release it there. Might not do that for you. That one didn't have spin. But at least I've got a 20. But I think the grip on the two sections there, it, it does feel nice. So if you're a natural rear gripper or a middle gripper, I think you're going to like those sections of grip. Feels a little bit more awkward for me to throw for me, but uh, again, it's not badly balanced at all. the shot warrior three uh, like I said I think I prefer the fact this one's got some grip on the nose 
uh, as a front gripper it feels quite nice gripping it there and overall I think it's a nicely balanced start uh, balance around the middle as you would expect is probably the best but I think to me it still had a slightly front weighted bias when I was throwing it but I do like them sections of grip on there it's got a, quite a nice feel to it so I think if you're a front middle or gripper it could be worth a look um, I also think if you naturally grip just around that part uh, the barrel's a little bit thinner there so you've got that lip to push again so if you like that um, feels quite comfortable there as well but my grip was naturally falling near there so it's a little bit more chunky on that section but uh, I think the feel of that grip there for rear grippers is very nice um, if you're one of them people who don't like a dart that's too aggressive but you, you, you do need a bit of grip I think you'll probably enjoy the feel of that but like I said it feels like a nicely balanced dart um, I have a feeling I might like these better than the other ones that I reviewed but I'm going to have to play with them a bit longer so I'll just report how I get on in the forum review but uh, once again it's a very nice looking dart um, quite unique with that tattoo design so that's the end of the review thanks for watching